I mean, Lee, that principal saying that these kids are as good as gold, I, I, it boggled my mind. Yeah. I mean, do, do school administrators not get the extent of this problem? You know, I, I think it's school to school. I think some schools do a great job, and it's top down. Um, if the culture is set and bullying is prioritized, then it, it sort of trickles down and those interactions look very different. Um, it was shocking. And, um, you know, I, I think in a way, I mean, again, like it was, it was brave of the school to let us film this movie. Absolutely. Um, and I think one of the things that they had said is that it would help us see ourselves in a way that we can't and other schools see themselves and think about it and have the conversation. So, you know, like, I mean, I was so angry for you guys in that moment, you know, and, and even like your little ones were like, what? <laughs> like, you know. Yeah, Jackie, and how do you, just, I mean, how do you, it's, it's I mean, intense. when she said that, as good as gold, what did you think? I thought she was a moron. <laughs> but. <laughs> The thing is, is that one of the biggest questions parents will ask me is, how did you not punch her in the face? <laughs> and what I tell them is, as angry as I was, I mean, you can hear I'm very upset. My voice is shaking. I'm like so upset. But I, it would have been burning a, a very broken bridge. Like she already wasn't hearing me. If I, if I get overly angry, I start screaming at her. I call her a moron, which is what I wanted to do. Um, right, that doesn't work. She stops listening right. altogether. Like, then no one's listening to me because she's telling them, well, you know, she came in here and threw a fit. And yeah. You can't burn your bridges.